uh, the su Bella's either going to have to come out with information and switch the subject onto somebody else, or she's going to have to stand on everything that she said in order to have a successful bounce back. Because people now want to see her, you know, they want to see her argue. They want to see her in tour with somebody. Yeah, and, and I agree with you. Um, and, and I'll reserve my opinion after Auntie Bone Collector. And then I'll, I'll kind of, I agree with what you're saying, Trip. So, Auntie, go ahead. Well, what I want to say is that after everything yesterday I, um, and previous to yesterday, we see that Auntie Bone, not Auntie Bone Collector, Bella is a instigator. She instigates her cases for the court. The one that was so profound to me was the one with Miss Nitra in that picture that went on for ages. And she, hey, they enhanced your picture. Do you want to take it to court? And then she went to Patty and said things on the back end. Do you want to take it to court? Instigating those cases like that is a big, big red flag. Now, can she bounce back this TikTok? Of course she can. What does she need to do? Be a little more transparent and respond. You can't keep ducking the smoke because even though it rises, you're gonna end, you're gonna get choked up with it. You gotta get the smoke. You gotta address it and be transparent. I I agree with you. I feel as though Bella could come back, but you have to be 100% honest. You need to acknowledge that you're an instigator. You need to acknowledge why you instigated a lot of these instances because you, let's just be honest, you needed the views, you wanted the views, you wanted people to come to your court show. And then you also need to admit that you were jealous of Petty. You have to admit why you were jealous of Petty. If you are not willing to do any of those things, then you will quickly find out that you are not, that people will no longer trust you. The truth will set you free. If you do not tell the truth, then people are not going to trust you. I mean, it's already hanging by a thread. Let's just be honest. The truth is the your her court show at this point is hanging by a thread. There will be people, but now if I if like at this point, if she was to say, hey, okay, I'm taking you to court for uh, let's just I'm um, just trying to pick uh, for Auntie Hillary. And, and I would be like, child, please, I wouldn't come. I wouldn't step foot in there because you can't even hold yourself accountable. So the disrespect is going to be disrespecting. So at, at this point, you who she going to who she's going to have. Uh, you're just going it, to it's going to go from court to recap very, very quickly. Her court show is going to go from court to recap very 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 quickly she needs to hold herself accountable everything that was released on um on petty's court show with nitra baby girl if i was you i'd take a break on saturday or i'm sorry on sunday enjoy mother's day come back and admit you was hating on petty and but admit that you was wrong but hi on karen i've been going through a little things but i wanted to just chime in because you know she posted something about me when I went on her court to talk about Diamond. And we have to, you guys have to understand, Bella don't hold herself accountable from buying viewers when she bought all those followers to her mm -hmm. having sexually explicit videos and doing what she was doing on TikTok to reading fake cash app messages. Um, this is what she do. She's biased. She's so she selective outrage on who she'll talk about and what she'll push. <clears throat> if she likes you, she's going to protect you on her platform. That is what she does. She's not fair. She need to crawl up under that crown she put on her head and sit her tail down for a Sunday and, and try to figure out what she need to do. But her credibility is gone as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you on that. I, at this point, it's very hard to come back from that. I think she could, uh, eh, listen, everybody could come back for something. I, I mean, when Woundlands was happening, I was worried too. But everybody, it's just a matter of how you approach it. What uh, What's up, Petty? Hey, um, I wanted to come up real quick. Um, I wanted to to talk to Miss Hillary. I haven't seen her in a while, um, but somebody a couple people came back to me and said that miss hillary had some unfavorable things to say about me in other people's lives i thought me and hillary were miss hillary was on good terms and stuff I, she's been in my lives we've cackled together about certain things so instead of just believing what other people said i want to ask miss hillary 
you know, what she thought about the situation with me and Bella. I'd rather hear it from her, what her opinions are, than take somebody else's, you know, their their story the way they brought it back. Hello. Uh, so I only heard bits and pieces regarding your court show about what you were doing. I didn't have all the facts together. Now, I did speak on some things because people had said some things, but me and you can talk. I'll give you my number and we can talk on the back end because I think that'd be more appropriate than airing out everything on this live. So I will stop. Um, but here's the thing, Miss uh -huh. Hillary, if you yeah. said it on a panel, well, well, you don't in know front what, of people. You can just tell what me what you said. It's fine. I mean, I just want to know for again, myself. Again, what I just what I just said to you in the most respectful way possible uh -huh. is I I have no problem communicating to you, and I just asked told you how we could do it, and then if anything else needs to be addressed after that, we can do that. I have no problem doing that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you both. Um, uh, did did C, did you want to add anything? Yes, it's Brittany, by the way. Hey, Karen, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, really quick, I just thought about this. Now, it was back to what you were mentioning. If Bella did come up and hold herself accountable and address the things that you mentioned to Petty, wouldn't she also have to do within the same day all of those other issues that she has with other people, other content creators on this app? A hundred percent. That's why I said, like, if I was her, I would take Sunday off, enjoy, because it's going to be mad day. And I would take Sunday off, enjoy my children, enjoy Mother's Day. Hopefully her husband got her a brunch somewhere, a massage somewhere. Y'all hoes couldn't tell me nothing. I'm enjoying my Mother's Day. If, if I was her. And then I'm going to sit down the whole week and say, all right. I got to apologize to I got to apologize to Petty. I got to apologize to the pushers. I got to apologize to uh, $2. I got to apologize to every single person who I have wronged and I need to make sure that I and that I truly feel like this is that I and acknowledge my my part in the mess. But here's the thing. Do I truly believe and I cannot have an ounce an ounce of deceit in my voice an ounce of like somebody's pushing me to do it i could not have that but do i think bella was will do that bella doesn't like two dollar so you're gonna have to be real honest with yourself bella you're gonna have to be real honest and say what happened and what and all this stuff on the back end and what was i biased and stuff like that all of these things you need to be you need to admit did you want to add more Brittany? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll come back if I have another question. Thank you again. Hey, okay, can I add this? I ho hopefully the wind ain't louder than me this time. But <laughs> um, I was going to say she knows that she's wrong now. She's aware of what she's doing and the fact that it's not appreciated by multiple people. Like I said, there were two incidences before within the past two weeks aside, before Nitra and Petty ever did the court thing. So now that it's come out, it more so has not dumbed down anything. It's raised it. The message was suspicious. The her now trying to blame Chase and Pillows and Chase and Pillows even acknowledged. They said, hold on. You know, I don't like the fact that she's pushing this on to me. These were not my responses. They may have been my questions, but these were not my responses. So I feel like not only does she need to apologize, but if you're made to apologize, how authentic is it? She recognizes what she did was wrong. She's just ducking accountability. So at that point, I can't say should she be forgiven on my behalf because I don't fuck with God. But I'm saying for the other people, how how to what degree are we going to ask for an apology because it's not coming from authenticity if she's apologizing now she's apologizing because she wants people to keep frequenting her platform but now that people have seen how you blatantly orchestrate drama and carry bones how you, you oh bring them there we're going to clear them out and then i'm going to block them when people hear things like that who's going to want to come back now even if she does apologize, and like I said, I think it's going to take about two to three weeks. And I think right now she knows that she's wrong. She can really apologize now if it was in her heart to do so. 
Absolutely. And, and and if she does it, it needs to be before, like I said, if you're trying to do it now, you do it before Mother's Day. Do not wait until Sunday because it, it's going to be crazy. Nobody, Nobody's really trying to pay attention like that. You need to do it and you need to do it with your whole chest with without a hint of animosity. Um, thank you guys so much for the gifts. Thanks, Kev. Without a hint of uh, animosity. Hold on, I got to address something. Why? Okay, Nurse Tia says, well, why address it without proof on AK panel? Let me stop you guys right there okay let me stop petty has every right to come up and ask hillary a question hillary has every right to say hey i don't want to talk about it right here maybe those two will get on live later on i don't know i cannot control i cannot force anybody to do something i will not force just for entertainment force hillary to say something and i will not force petty to come up here and say something that is not fair to petty and that's not fair to hillary if they want to if they want to have a conversation on the back end that's them well, th thank you for saying that, Aunt Karen. Um, it's crazy to me how y'all want, y'all just want me to go in on Hillary. I clearly said I didn't hear what Hillary said. It was brought back to me by somebody else. Why would I go in on her or be mad and upset? And I don't even know exactly what she said because I did not hear it with my own two ears. With Bella, I heard it. Proxy had the recordings. Soka had the recordings. I heard what she said with my own ears. Why would I just come in here and go off on Miss Hillary? I don't know what she said. I didn't hear it with my own ears. That'd be wrong of me just to go off on her and I ain't even hear it. Y'all just want somebody to argue. That is absolutely crazy to me. If you want somebody to argue, you get up here. Let me argue with you. Let me hear you say something. Then let me argue with you. If you just want to argue that bad. That is absolutely crazy. I'm, I'm finna drop down. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, and if you guys are coming at Hillary any kind of way, you will be blocked. If you're coming at Petty any kind of way, you will be blocked. I just, I don't have time for it. That's not how I, I don't just let people argue and sit back and go, oh, okay. It, like, if the, it has to, two parties have to be mutually willing to have a conversation. And if Hillary wants to have it on the back end first and then go live later, I'm, uh, that's up to her. That's 100% her, her, her energy if that's what she wants to do. All right. So going back to, to whether or not Bella can recuperate, I feel like she definitely has the ability. I don't think she'll be able to recuperate with court. I think this is the end for her court show. I think you've tainted it. I, I think you just might as well just say it's now recap live. Um, I don't think you can utilize accountability anymore because now that we know that you have been working behind the scenes and that you have been orchestrating things, the only, every time somebody, oh, please drop, I didn't mean to come. Okay, no problem. Um, it, now that we know you have been working behind the scenes, it is too late. You, you At this point, you have to rebrand. And it's okay to rebrand, re but at this point, she has to rebrand. And, and if you don't agree with me, please, I'm more than well. You're more than welcome to come up. I'm willing to hear everybody out. I think it's. It, I think she has to rebrand herself. Yeah, the Bella problem is the community no longer trust her. Well, I mean, think about it this way: for those of you guys who who, if you were in it with a large content creator or a small content creator, do you do you still think? Do you think like um? Do you think you would want her to hear your, you would want your case, her, your case heard on her panel? I think it can still last, but it's not exactly the same. Right. But it, think about it. You know how you have a show that you really, really like, and then you find out the actor on that show has been beating his wife or whatever. Do you look at it? Do you look at it the same? When you when you find out that the, uh, this guy on a personal level makes you kind of gives you the ick because he because he's doing this and then on the, on the show he's playing a romantic lover and you really like you like and and what happens they end up on, they end up killing that person off because if it if it takes away from their show they don't want that person somebody says hold on somebody says it, Mecca Johnson says it's not that serious I promise you it is. In the cycle of TikTok and the cycle of views, let's think back to Sean and Shanice. When Shanice left, I kept telling people that show with with uh, Sean and, and Olivia wasn't going to last. Everybody's telling me, oh, no, 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 they can carry it on without Shanice. They can do this. Da, 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 da. And then when I told people Shanice 
uh, Janice isn't going to do much without without that show. We only loved her because of the show. We only loved her because of when she sat in that chair. And now they all MIA. Exactly, Jack. They gone. I don't, you know, you, you guys have to stop thinking that this stuff doesn't happen. It happens in front of your face all the time. The cycle changes in front of your face all the time. Sean is somewhere walking around with glass eye. But can, you know what I mean? If the Bella drama would hit Reddit, then her show would be done for permanently. I, I think, but, you, you know, here's the thing. And I think the initial, of course, she's still going to get views. She's still going to get views on her page. The initial, the the next Sunday, if she decides to go live this Sunday or what, she's still going to get the views because people want to hear what she has to say. But ultimately, you're, she's just going to become a recap because people don't trust what she has to say. Thank you so much, um, Omar. Appreciate it. And, and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that if somebody wants to come up. But I feel, I listen, I've been around TikTok long enough. I've had my share of controversies, my share of stuff. And I've watched how people have changed. And I've watched how people have rebranded. I've rebranded myself when I started. Because you, if you recall, when I started, oh, thank you so much. When I started TikTok, I was exposing racists and stuff like that. As time had moved on, I realized that getting into these situations were dangerous. Exposing these races were, were very dangerous for me, for my family. And I decided, you know, I'm not doing this. I wasn't doing it under an anonymous name. It wasn't hard to figure out who I was. And so I said, okay, I need to, I really need to decide what it is that I want to do. And so I decided to rebrand. What's up, Jean? Yes. Yes. Hi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one thing. Do you have a you have a um, TV on in the background or, or radio? Yeah. Sorry about that, Karen. Yeah. If you could just turn it down for me. Yeah. I, I, I paused. I wasn't watching it anyway. <laughs> yeah. No problem. But only thing I wanted to say that, you know, I, I'm clear on everything that happened. I watched, you know, the court last night. But I was just going to say I was thinking that it would survive because she basically brings the topics to court and then the jury decides, you know, the decisions about them being, you know, guilty or innocent. Yeah, but part of that, though, right, part of her bringing um, people to court is this accountability. The name is accountability court. So if, right. the, if the host and we find out that she's working behind the scenes to bring people to court saying like, hey, if I was you like, imagine, Gene, I'm holding a court and you get into it with with uh, with somebody. And I go, you know what? I, if I were you, I'd take them to court tonight or I'll take them, take them to my court. And if I were you, you know what? And I'll also give you the box to yourself all by yourself and I'll let you talk, you know, talk your talk. And then I'll bring up the person you're arguing with. That doesn't seem biased to you at all. That doesn't seem like that seems like you're pulling too many strings. You could trust that. And right. I, 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 I honestly see your point. No, I see your point because that's how it actually works in a real court. You, you're absolutely right. Because, yeah, because if you if you have no trust for the judge, the judge, when the judge hears a case, they don't go, OK, I'll let you talk this long and I'll let you talk. And, and obviously this is not a real court, but we are putting it on the premises of a real court, meaning we have to be able to trust the host. If you guys cannot trust the host, you are not going to sit here and listen. And there's a lot of people who've been on the jury who have issues with some of the people that are on the docket. So when you're looking at a jury, you have to be impartial as well. So she allows her jury to run the court for her. Go ahead, Hillary. Um, I was going to say that here's a prime example. I employ anybody to go on her accountability page. She has a thing clipped up of me on the page when I was talking about wopsided diamond, begging, uh, lacing up her security boots. And she made it a point to say, oh, I don't put people down. I don't do this. I don't do that. That is being biased because diamond is her girl. And, and that's the pro if you need any proof of how biased she is, go on there and look. 
and I'm not worried about her. Diamond don't scare me. I'm not intimidated by her. Pull her, pull your hair back in a ponytail. Lace your boots up. Go get a job. Stop creating these false scenarios to, for people to give you money and because you threatened it where you living and you need to move and you need this and you need that. Girl, bye. Oh, I, uh, mm. yeah, D Diamond definitely not her friend. I, I could tell you one thing. Diamond's definitely not her friend, but she's willing to hold up stuff for Diamond because, again, she doesn't want to go up against Diamond's uh, people. Uh, but I didn't know why is Diamond needing to move. Does anybody know why? I didn't know she was needing. I, I have he I've heard that she was needing to move, but I, I thought she owned her house, so maybe she's just renting that house. I didn't know she needed to move. Um, I heard some people like, "Oh, I'll help you move Diamond and all that." I don't I, I, know the why, but I can only speculate. Probably her lease is up. <laughs> That's no, probably okay. the problem. <laughs> okay, somebody said for safety reasons. Okay, I'm going to dispel that right now. I'm going to dispel that right now. That's a money grab. Because, and here's why I'm going to tell you it's a money grab. Girl, ain't nobody coming to her house for that reason. Stop. Yeah, l let's stop. Let's let's stop. Ain't nobody coming to Diamond House like that. <laughs> nobody coming to that, that woman's house like that. We all, your, your home is public record. Okay? Nobody's coming to, if you go and get another, I'm assuming, I am assuming, OK, I'm assuming she's going to go to she's going to use her real name to go to another house, apartment, rent, whatever. OK, which means guess what, you guys, no matter where you go, your address will be now uploaded when you register to vote. When, when you hit that, yes, I want to register to vote and you put your current address, it's going to be there. When you do anything, when you when she when she uh, decides to get a new license to update her address, it will be in a system. Y'all got to stop letting people fool you with that. Thank now, you, that, that's Thank ridiculous. You. She ain't got to move because she, not, she ain't okay. She lives in an apartment. She ain't got to move because uh, because people like like that. Ain't nobody coming after Diamond like that. Now, when I had moved, I had had that. If you guys recall, that CEO's husband had had went on TV and said that he was that he wanted me unalived. So when I had moved back after exposing his wife, that was a different situation. Like, let's just stop. You know what but, I'm saying? Like, remember, Aunt Karen, she was docked two years ago. Why didn't she move in? Right. And there's nothing that has happened in between now and between and, and, and all that other stuff that would make that woman that scared. Money to say grab. It's called money grab. That's she. I guess she I guess y'all her initial payments people were sending her on the show ain't uh wasn't hitting. And so she needs the money because that that's uh, that's ridiculous. Anyways. I want to go to accountability courts page real quick because I think you you said there's a video of you, Hillary. A clip of me um, on her live, and she she's talk. I'm talking, and then you'll see what she had to say in her, the caption about what I was saying. You'll see it. Okay, let me go here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm on that. That's okay. Let me go to her Bella Leon page because I think I'm on the wrong page. I, I know she's not the. Let me go to the Bella Leon show page. Is it pinned? It's not the pinned video. It's not this one. I don't condone tearing others down. Okay, here, 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 here. I think this is a. This is it. Hey. Um, <laughs> Good morning, Bella. How are you today? All is well, Queen. What's going on with you? I wanted to congratulate you for your 1.2 million likes that you, with your show, the real show, the real diva. I'm congratulating you because you're not a former security guard that had to lace up her boots to go to work with a wop sided BDL. I'm happy that you got all your teeth, including your side teeth. I'm so sick and tired of these people acting like they something when they didn't got their tax returns and they think they turn it up as tax season turn up. Mm. I'm tired of these people running around here when I look outside in my um equipment and i see a hole you know what a hole is when you gotta you gotta rent that hole it's a lot of these holes running around here on the back end acting like they are tv show at a oprah but next week i'm coming on here and i'm i hope that you can bring one sided uh black diamond on this show so i can let her know what the fuck i got to tell her Ooh. 
Now, thank you so very much. Congratulations, because you are the queen. They're coming after you. You are the girl. You are the it girl. And Hillary said that. Now, check that boo. Have a good day. Now, Hillary, why you go in? (laughs) Hillary, why you go in on her like that? (laughs) Oh, hold on. Wait. Hillary, I appreciate the the affirmations. I just want to say this. Bella Leon is in her lane, doing her thing, not worrying about what the next person platform is going on. Please do not put this narrative out here that I am up against anybody because I am not. Please do not do that. I ain't got no problems with nobody. I ain't no issues. I don't want no problems. Don't start nothing. Won't be. Y'all hear this song every, every Sunday. Don't start none, won't be none. Don't start, won't be nothing. Please, thank you for the affirmation. But I don't need you to tear one down to put me up. I don't believe in that. I can't control what the next person do. If that's what they do to make themselves feel good, that's on them. I don't do that. I want to see everybody doing great. I want to see everybody winning. Thank you for the gift. But Bella Leon is in her own world, doing her own thing. Appreciating my supporters, appreciating everything that y'all have to offer. But that is not the answer. Tearing one down to lift one up, do not expect me to do that. I don't believe in none of that, okay? I cannot control how other people feel now. Now, I want to make that clear. I cannot control that. Mm. But I know what's right. And I know I wouldn't want nobody doing me like I wouldn't be okay with somebody hosting a live, sitting on the panel while they're just going out their way to drag and tear me down to lift them up. But isn't that what her court show essentially is, though? Like people, because you don't come, nobody comes to Bella's show for a resolution. It's essentially people just arguing and then the comments vote. Mm. I know how that would make me feel. So I don't want it being done to me. Thank you for the gift. I'm not going to do it to nobody else. I have integrity. I can only speak for me. Some people don't mind it because they don't like me anyway. So they're going to allow people to just sit and tear me down. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Shout out to that content creator. She do what she do. But in my own world, in my own lane, I like it like this. Mm. And we have determined that that was a lie, right? The messages with Nitra, her going on Chase and Pillows live, we have determined that that was a lie. AK, why? Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, Amp Love says, why this lady bring her name every box she goes in? Who? When you say this lady, who are you talking about, honey? And you have to be more detailed. I was going to say that did not age well. No, that and that was that was posted for a- April 8th. That did not age well at all. Hillary, bring whose name? Were you talking about Diamond? So why did Diamond, why did Hillary bring up Diamond's name? I can't answer that. Hillary would have to answer that for you. <laughs> right, y'all not like, y'all not tapping the screen. Y'all I gotta tap. Diamond's name because Diamond ain't no goddamn untouchable queen. She can be spoke about just like I can be spoke about. You guys act like this woman is can't can't nobody. Hold, hold on one second, Hillary. Hold no, on one second. No, 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 no. Let Hillary finish. I no, no. Hold on, y'all. Y'all double tap the screen. Share the live. Like the live. It's seven hundred twenty-seven people here. I just came in to say oh, please okay. like the live. Y'all be liking bullshit lives for less. Y'all over here with Aunt Karen. Run up the lights, please. Thank you. Get your fingers buff. Y'all have a good morning. Thank you. Go ahead, Hillary. Yeah, but you guys seem to think that Diamond is untouchable. Diamond is put on this big pedestal. You guys realize she takes dumps like we do. She loses. She ain't got no edges like some of we we don't. She's not God. She's not an, a perfect person. What she does, and I don't care who don't like it, she sits up on that morning show begging 
every day and doing what she do. And it's okay. I'm not counting her coins, but I am, I understand where she came 